Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Supninger with Shoni. That's me. Please subscribe, support me and tap on the bell button to get more interesting videos like the ones I'm doing right now. In the previous video about the solar system, we were discussing about Einstein and talked about Uranus, our roller skater, which is only one of the two ice giants known in our puzzling solar system. The other ice giant is Neptune. And this is ladies and gentlemen, our planet for today's jaw dropping video. Neptune was never really discovered by our early ancient ancestors who observed the tiny lights in the night sky to guide their way back home. The reason why they never knew was because it is not visible to the naked eye. And back in the time when they lived, I'm sure that a thing such as a telescope wasn't even invented. An astronomer named Urban Leverrier through mathematical calculations predicted the presence of another planet beyond Uranus. Leverrier expected to be declaring the sole discovery of Neptune. It was not long until on 23rd September 1846 that the ice giant Neptune was discovered by Joan Gottfried Galley with a telescope. The planet was later named after the Roman god of the sea, the eighth planet, the farthest known in the solar system, a blue ball, Neptune. The densest out of all the outer planets, it upholds its name as the fourth largest planet by diameter and the third most massive planet in the solar system. Scientists believe that Neptune formed closer to the Sun and then 0.5 million years later moved to the outer solar system. It was born 4.5 billion years ago like all the other planets in the solar system when gravity pulled swirling gases and dust into form this ice giant like its fellow ice giant neighbor Uranus. 17 times the mass that of Earth, physically smaller than its ice giant neighbor Uranus. This is because its greater mass causes more gravitational compression in its atmosphere. With a radius of 24,622 kilometers, Neptune is about four times wider than Earth with an estimated 6 rings and 14 confirmed moons. Neptune is approximately 30 astronomical units away from the Sun and it's just incredible that from this distance it takes sunlight 4 hours to travel from the Sun to Neptune. It takes the planet roughly about 165 Earth years to make a full orbit around the Sun and about 16 hours for it to complete its rotation around its axis once, in other words, a day. The planet rages with quick, fast, supersonic moving wild wind. In fact, it is the solar system's windiest planet. Even though it is a most distant planet, it is amazing that this planet could produce such winds. Its winds can be nine times stronger than Earth. These winds whip up frozen methane and then form clouds made of frozen methane across the planet at speeds of more than 2,000 km per hour. Even Earth's most powerful wind hit only about 400 km per hour. Did you ever wonder why Neptune is so blue and how it gets its dark vivid blue color? You see, an ice giant like Neptune its atmosphere is made up of hydrogen, helium and methane. The thing is that methane gas absorbs the red portion of sunlight and reflects the blue portion of sunlight outwards. This is how and why Neptune has a dark vivid blue color. Approximately about more than 80% of the planet's mass is composed up of hot dense fluid of icy material, water, methane 
and ammonia situated above a small rocky core. Scientists assume and think there might be an ocean of really super hot water under Neptune's blue cold cloud. But the really super hot water does not boil away because of the incredibly high pressure in the planet's atmosphere. The high pressure keeps it locked inside the planet's atmosphere. Neptune does not have a true solid surface. Its atmosphere extends to great depths, eventually merging into water and other melted ices over a heavier solid core about weighing about the same mass as Earth. In 1989, a large oval-shaped storm was observed on Neptune's southern hemisphere named the Great Dark Spot was large enough to contain the entire Earth. The storm later has since disappeared but new ones have appeared and have merged on different parts of the planet. The main axis of Neptune's magnetic field is tipped over by about 47 degrees compared with the planet's rotation axis. Neptune's magnetosphere undergoes very wild variations during each rotation because of this misalignment. The magnetic field of Neptune is about 27 times more powerful than that of Earth. The planet has at least five main rings and four prominent ring arcs that we know of so far. Starting near the planet and moving outward, the main rings are named Galei, Leverrier, Lassell, Arogo, and Adams. The rings are thought to be relatively young and short-lived. The arcs are very strange and mysterious because the laws of motion would predict that they would rather spread more evenly rather than stay clumped together. Scientists now think the gravitational effects of Galate, a moon just inward from the rings, stabilizes these arcs. Neptune has 14 known moons. Its largest moon, Triton, was discovered on October 10, 1846 by William Lassell, just 17 days after John Gottfried Galley discovered the planet. Since Neptune was named for the Roman god of the sea, its moons are named for various lesser sea gods and nymphs in Greek mythology. Neptune's environment is not conducive to life as we know it is. The temperature, the pressure, and materials that characterize this planet are probably too extreme and volatile for organisms to adapt to. Voyager 2, till today, is the only spacecraft that flew by and explored Neptune. It was launched by NASA on 20th August 1977. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please like and share my video. Bye-bye.